other state that are happy to have it. Well, we're still well. Um, I always drive to my sister's, it's easier, but generally she does come to see me in Windsor. It's a meeting point, so it's halfway between both of us. Well, it's convenient because my dad lives there. Um, but with my dad, I always drive to him because we car share. Um, he, at the moment, doesn't have a car, but as I'm working, I drop it off there in the mornings, getting to work, and if, or should he need to use it during the day, he's got that choice rather than owning two cars. It's cheaper for both of us. I can't be, I don't rush anyway. We've got plenty of transport buses, plenty, every min, 10 minutes. So we're very lucky that way. I'm showing my bus pass. Mm -hmm. I usually know nearly everybody on the bus. I don't think I've ever got the bus and I didn't know one person on it. Obviously other choices here by public transport, I find it more financially benefit for ourselves is to use the car. We're not standing around freezing cold bus stops getting soaking wet or whatever or waiting on buses, some buses that... It would that cost you a fortune on mm -hmm. the bus because it it's 80 pence each for the kids and then it's about £2 for us, so that's in a day if you're making four trips. That's six sixty. Using the van to go and collect the kids from school because it's um, seven miles from home, so it's like 28 miles a day. Couldn't live without my car now, like, I'm not used to it. We couldn't have the kids in the school as we wanted them in. Yeah, it I couldn't, just be I couldn't do my job. I go from different house to house, so I would lose out when I was travelling, waiting for buses and things. And then your wages would be spent on mm -hmm. travelling around. We've had to economise with. We, we can't afford to have a car each now, we're retired, which we used to, I used to have a car, um, and Rap had his own car, but now we share a car, so that's obviously limiting. We do most of our shopping really in Dis, and that's oh, seven okay. miles away, there's one bus a week, which is on market day, um, which goes there in the morning, comes back, and comes back in the afternoon. We have to drive to the local shop. There isn't a shop here, so if we want to buy it, just buy a newspaper. In that sense, it's expensive if you add all that up every time you drive. We do have a bus. Uh, it's called a can-go bus, and you ring up and book. Uh, a range of time, well no, it comes at a certain time, but you have to arrange to be picked up. Um, we've never actually used it, so I'm not sure how it works, but it's not, it doesn't go round and round on a regular time, and it doesn't come every day, so I don't think that would be an option. We did swap a car from a bigger one to a little one, didn't we? Yeah. Because the petrol prices had gone so high. It's and the now, tax went well. up through your emissions. But we went, we downgraded it to a smaller car. But that wasn't so much for the for the carbon footprint. That was for more financially for ourselves. Oh, I use my bike mainly every day. Why? Because I I ride um, to work with it and I go uni with it. So. It's mainly because it's uh, it's free <laughs> to ride a bike rather than catching a bus. Um, it's like one seventy every day using the bus, so yeah, I'm saving money along with it as well. We don't really use our bikes as much as we should do. No, we should use them more. I think it's easier just to jump in the car. Or we walk. I think we prefer to walk, really. Mm. I would like to bike to the, um, the shop more. Mm. Um, 
my, that, you know, it's just you have, we always the reason we got the bikes um, was out, you know, because you, we aspired. You, know, you have this ideal of riding our bikes, and but and I think we did more when we first got them. But if I'm going to be honest, don't use them as much now. Unfortunately, um, biking is a pleasure on small roads like this. But once you start getting onto the bigger roads, it's a bit dodgy. It's frightening, yeah. You find cars and you know, vans especially. They just drive too quickly. Uh, but I think electric, electric cars, for instance, aren't practical for the countryside because they've got um, a, a short range. So you probably couldn't go to Norwich and back with an electric car. I'm back. I don't tend to use public transport. I find the train quite expensive and um, too far to walk when you get there. <laughs> I suppose we could possibly cycle to Lymington. In fact, I have cycled to Lymington. Take about 20 minutes, half an hour. Wouldn't like to do it every day. But I don't walk anywhere and drive. Not very green there, am I? <laughs>